That is Jared Buckhalter. He agreed to be the first addiction patient in the U.S. to get the implant. This patient has been sober ever since he had an electrical wire placed into his brain. This was him in 2019, just before he had his surgery. He was explaining that all he wants was to have the cravings gone. He apparently had a severe shoulder injury that made him dependent on opiates. And after trying to quit several times, he was just unsuccessful. He was then enrolled in this study with three other people to assess the role of deep brain stimulation on addiction. This is video from the seven hour procedure. I'm ready to surgery so new, it didn't have a name yet. The surgery itself took about seven hours and the surgeon had to make a hole the size of a nickel in order to implant this electrical wire. Dr. Razai opened a nickel-sized hole in Buckhalter's skull. You can tell that he has this frame around his face. This frame allows the surgeon to understand exactly where the wire is in three-dimensional space. It's a form of advanced navigation system to be able to place the implant at the exact right spot. Directed a thin wire with four electrodes deep inside. Sure, are you okay? Yes, sir. All right. Jared was awake during the surgery. And once the wire is placed in the correct location, it's connected to a battery. That battery will generate an electrical impulse to a specific part of the brain in order to inhibit cravings. And after surgery, this generator can then be adjusted to different settings. The settings usually vary from person to person, so you have to adjust them after the surgery is done to make sure that the person is getting the correct response. And here he is now, several years after surgery. This is the same device that I discussed in my most recent video where I explained how we can use this to correct people who have Parkinsonian tremor. And as you can tell, this device has several different applications.